Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. Now, patch 1.07 went live earlier tonight and there was quite a bit of changes. This was definitely the biggest patch we've got so far and a lot of different weapon balance changes. So I thought I'd make a video here talking about the top five weapons as of right now in this game, in my opinion, on patch 1.07. Gonna talk about some of these things that are changed and some of the weapons that were nerfed but are still very strong in this game, as well as other weapons that I think uh, have just become very, very good in this game. Uh, through time not necessarily on this patch update but uh, you know there are some things because of the movement speed basically being changed back to the way it was in the beta where everything is basically sped up in this game it really does feel nice as well as some buffs to across the board to SMGs a little bit of nerfs across the board to assault rifles which really does even though the LMGs got nerfed to expose the LMGs as being very very good in this game uh, because of the nerf to the damage range on most of the ARs a lot of stuff to talk about in this video if you guys could drop a like on this thing let's go ahead and go for 982 likes that would be absolutely incredible. Smack a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I would really appreciate that. We're up over like 980,000 subscribers on that road to a million subscribers. So thank you to everyone joining me on that journey. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all are absolutely amazing. So thank you so much. And let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, these, this is going to be in no particular order. And these are five weapons that basically I think if you pick any of these five weapons and play properly to their play style, you are going to have massive success in this game. And the first one is going to be the MP5, which is in my opinion, the best SMG in this game. Shut to the MP7. I'd say the MP7 is a close second, but this MP5 is just nasty, and especially once you get that 10 millimeter ammunition. I made a best class up on this uh, MP5 already if you want to go look that up, but the 10 millimeter ammunition really is amazing, and what happened with the SMGs, like I said of just the movement speed overall being increased to the way it was in the beta, also in SMGs across the board there was increased movement speed, increased ADS move speed, and a small reduction in sprint, uh, in sprint out time. So really, really nice stuff on these SMGs on an MP5 that already does have decent damage at range. Uh, you can use it with the suppressor as well, and this thing absolutely melts, deletes people up close. Hit fire is nasty on this weapon, and because of these changes with this patch update, it really does feel like you can actually move around a little bit more on this update, and this is a weapon that obviously is very, very effective at doing that. You can still challenge fights at a mid-range and take people out very, very quick, but at close range, you don't really have too much to worry about. Maybe if they run up on you with a shotgun, but other than that, this weapon is absolutely deadly and especially with them introducing the new map uh, shoot house which I haven't played yet because even though this patch update came out at like midnight or 1 a.m. Uh, the maps aren't live yet they're probably gonna go live like 10 a.m. or something like that uh, they said at some point today but I'm sure on that map a lot of people are gonna be using the SMG especially the mp5 because of how strong it is and not only the mp5 is gonna be used on that small map uh, with the 24-7 uh, but they're probably going to be also using uh, the shotgun as well which I think uh, did get a nerf in this update the 720 but it's still very very strong but yeah if you're looking for an SMG if you're looking for something that you can move around with a little bit but still have a uh, decent damage at mid-range and, and I'm talking mid-range with an SMG that's sort of different when, than when you have mid-range with an AR this is the way to go there's not too many weaknesses to this weapon it you know you move fast the hip fire is nice the reload is nice with the sleight of hand on the setup that I use uh, the damage range is nice uh, yeah I really do like it and I think this is by far the best SMG setup like I said I went in-depth into that setup in another video but on a map like this where I'm able to sort of rush and maneuver around and pop the dead silence. You can really cycle through dead silence many, many times because, you know, if you're just watching that duration, trying to get a kill and uh, refreshing it, and even if you're not, whenever you're getting kills, it just goes up so quick, especially with tune-up as your perk three, that uh, it's very, very helpful. Next is going to be the 725 shotgun. Now, this shotgun obviously was the most broken gun in the game before this patch update, and it did receive some significant nerfs. It was the, there's an increase to the ADS and hip spread and reduced damage range for the 725 shotgun and personally you can definitely feel that the hip fire is a lot less accurate on this thing uh, that's one thing I noticed a lot of the times I'm missing that first hip fire shot and it definitely you have to take a, a little bit of time to get more used to it because you have to before you could just basically shoot it and you would be hitting those hip fires no problem but this weapon is not even made for hip fire it's made for more aiming down sights and like they said that they reduced the damage range and that they increased the ADS spread this thing still is not nasty at range and you can get some pretty ridiculous one-shot kills still as well so while I wouldn't say that this weapon is absolutely broken I think that it definitely deserves a spot in this top five weapons list uh, based on the fact that you know before th I thought this thing would be probably nerfed to the ground I thought that was a potential it definitely has not been nerfed to the ground it has been nerfed to a more reasonable spot but if you're still looking for a shotgun I mean there's actually multiple shotguns that were good in this game but I still really really like this one because of the fact that what makes it so strong is even though it may not be as 
as easy to hit your shots now. You might have to be a little bit more accurate. You can still get those one-shot kills at a very, very long da uh, damage range. And the other thing is that the sleight of hand, the reload time is just absolutely, absolutely incredible on this thing because of the fact that once you get sleight of hand, and of course it's just a double barrel, I mean, the reload time is literally takes so, so, it's just so, so quick. I thought they would probably maybe hit that as terms of the nerf, but they left the reload time alone and they simply went after, you know, the stats on this weapon, but you can still take out people. And obviously I, I think I was running it with like overkill MP5 in this setup as well, which is very, very nice. If you use uh, perk three amped also, you could rock this like overkill M4, overkill uh, MP5, and you can swap out real quick. And even if you're not rocking that, you can still swap out, but a little bit slower. Uh, on a game where the movement speed increases, they really, that's really something that helps the shotguns because you're able to maneuver around a lot, lot quicker because the movement speed being restored to how it was in the beta. Of course, these nerfs do make it to where it is worse than it was before, but before it was absolutely busted, and now I think it's still a very, very strong gun in this game, and I would definitely say this is, uh, it deserves a spot in the top five because shotgun playstyle, although it wasn't like, I'm mainly an AR and an SMG playstyle, and that's what I talk about in like my first top five guns video, you, you sort of have to adapt in this game and start using a bunch of different stuff because there's shotguns that are good, there's LMGs that are good, there's marksman rifles that are good, there's a lot of good stuff in this game. Next weapon here is the AK-47. Now, once again, this is in no particular order of best weapons, but if you're looking for a weapon that's an AR that still packs a punch at range, this is the go-to, the AK-47. I think Shroud uh, even said that this was the best gun in the game. He preferred this over the M4 even before the patch. Personally, I preferred the M4 before the patch, but things get interesting now because of the fact that the M4 did receive some nerfs, which we'll talk about in a, in a bit here, and also that the ARs, they increased the hip spread to reduce effectiveness up close and they did less damage at long range for the full auto 5.56 rifles. Now, of course, the 5.56 ammo rifles, that's pretty effective that they're doing less damage at range. It is a significant nerf, but with this one, which uses the whatever 7.62 ammo, I think it is, the AK-47, this thing still packs an absolute punch. And even though they did increase the hip fire spread to reduce effectiveness up close, this weapon is made for, uh, basically, you, you build this class up around high damage and picking people off at long range with a consistent, reliable assault rifle. I think this AK is absolutely amazing. There's multiple setups you can do with this weapon. The one thing I think that people don't like about this weapon a little bit is that they might think that it's a bit hard to handle because of the recoil. Now, personally, you can basically choose what you want to go into. You can choose if you want to speed your weapon up a little bit, maybe with like a stippled grip tape, or and then you have to deal with the recoil a little bit, or if you want to rock with a different uh, grip tape to control the recoil and then use, it would be a slower paced weapon. It all depends on the play style that you're looking looking for, but when it comes down to the to the uh, essentials with this thing, you do have a super duper fast time to kill. You're able to melt people at range. I mean, look at some of these kills. You're literally deleting enemies. This is a really, really fast time to kill game, and I think this update did speed up the overall gameplay, which is super duper nice, um, and, you know, definitely uh, probably slowed down the time to kill overall, but this weapon sort of went untouched. You know, they, they hit it with uh, a little bit on the hip fire across all the ARs, but, I mean, hip fire is still ridiculous in this game, and this is a weapon that if you are taking people, if you're looking for medium to long range fights, and you're looking for just a standard sturdy weapon, uh, AK-47, you really, really can't go wrong with this thing. I think it is absolutely awesome, and I think it's a weapon that, this is one that some people might not be into. You, you do need to unlock a lot of attachments for this thing, just as a bare weapon. I don't think it's really the best, but once you do get the attachments and you decide, okay, you play it to your strengths, such as, you know, keeping them at a distance, like, like I was trying to do in, in that gameplay there, or you use it to speed up and, and let you do the high damage. I prefer to, to keep it more of a distance. That weapon's absolutely awesome. Next here on this top five list is going to be the M4A1. Now, this was the best gun in the game beforehand. Uh, well, I guess you could say the shotgun was the most broken gun. This was the best gun uh, overall, I guess you could say, before the update. And this one did receive some significant nerfs because of the fact that the less damage at long range for the full auto 5.56 rifles, which is including the M4A1, and then direct nerfs to the M4A1, reducing the damage range and a small recoil increase. So what I try to do with this weapon is it definitely is, you can feel it that at the long range, it does take a little bit longer to kill. It's Before you would get some ridiculous kills, you just shoot the, across the map, but it would feel like you killed them in three bullets sometimes with a fast fire rate. It would be absolutely ridiculous. You can notice the, the nerfs on this weapon for sure, but what I did with this setup in this game is I sort of, you know, I took off my red dot, I went with the iron sight, I went with like a laser sight on it as well, and sort of tried to speed up the weapon because this thing still has explosive power at mid-range, still has 
good power at long range, even though it's been nerfed, and it still definitely has just a, a great fire rate and great handling on this weapon. I think it, you, you know, I would be doing a disservice to take this off my top five guns list. This is still a weapon that if I'm playing on a mid to large size map and I need something that's just going to be consistent, nice to handle, and win me a lot of gunfights, I'm still sticking with the M4A1. It is not, it, you can feel the nerfs on this weapon, but just because it's nerfed doesn't mean it needs to be bumped out of this slot. I want to give also an honorable mention to the Kilo 141 here, which there is a, I guess you could say the Kilo 141, definitely I think it deserves an honorable mention on my list here because I did not put it in my top five, but it's right there on the outskirts of that top five. It's absolutely awesome. It, if you were looking for more of a long range AR, that one still is absolutely amazing, sort of like the ACR, but the M4, you kind of have to, I guess you could say switch your play style up with it and not rely on it for super duper long range as much, but if you play it still with the mid range, I mean, they say a small recoil increase. You guys hear me talk about the recoil all the time. What, what is the recoil, you know? Look, look at that weapon. I'm shooting it off at a very, very long range. If you can learn to pull down on your right stick, and with a weapon that kills, not just this weapon, but in this game, the time to kill is so, so ridiculously fast. It's like by the time you kill them, even if you get a double kill or a triple kill, uh, by the time you notice the recoil, the enemies are already dead and you're already sleight of hand reloading. And I really, really still like this M4A1. I find that it's a very, very reliable weapon. It's one that you can use with the default sight because of the fact that the default sights are kind of nice. It's one that you can use with the uh, XRK M4 variant, which is available for people that, uh, whatever, bought digitally on PS4, I think. And that one changes up your iron sights. You can rock this thing with the red dot on it. There's so many different options of what you can rock with this weapon and keeping it more to that, remembering that, hey, it's super not as reliable at that very, very long range. But if you're keeping it more mid to long range and using the fast time to kill and the fire rate on this weapon, it is still one of the best guns in the game. And it is still very, very fun to use because of the fact you're just melting people. I mean, look at this. Some of these people are even getting first shots in on me and I'm just jump shotting them and melting them. A very, very fun gun to use in my opinion. And one that's going to be interesting because this is the first big significant patch notes we got in patch 1.07. Um, and it did change up the meta a little bit, but not, not fully. You know, it made SMGs definitely a lot better in this meta currently. Uh, but the ARs are still really, really dominant and the shotguns are still really, really good in this game. A lot of the weapons are super duper strong. It kind of reminds me of like a Modern Warfare 2 meta where it's like, you know, the ACR, the UMP, the FAMAS, they're all god guns. They're all really good in that game and they all can kill people really quick. And that's how I feel about this game a little bit as well with the weapon balance. And coming in number five here is definitely a sleeper pick. This is the PKM LMG. And although the LMGs were nerfed, uh, basically what was nerfed on the PKM is they increased the hip spread, which makes the hip fire worse, and your, your medium damage range reduction. This weapon still is absolutely ridiculous because of how fast it kills. All of the LMGs were killing in around the same amount of bullets up close. Uh, I think it's three bullets up close for the LMGs. And the fact that this one has not the fastest fire rate, it actually goes to the MG34 with the fastest fire rate, but this one has the 100 rounds in each magazine before you have to reload instead of 50, and then even if you want to go for 200, you can stack that on if you want to go for extended mags. Personally, I like this because I don't really use sleight of hand. I just use this weapon and melt people with it, and then when I want to reload, I just take my time, sit back for a second when the map's resetting, when the enemies are spawning way, way, way at the back. Instead of peeking the window and trying to you know risk your life, just take your time, reset, reset, reload. This thing just has such a fast time to kill, and the handling doesn't even feel bad with the setup that I use. Obviously, I haven't even made a class setup on this video yet, or on this weapon yet. I do need to make that, and that's coming very, very soon, because I'm falling in love with this weapon, and I've never been a traditional LMG or shotgun player, but like I said in this game, it is like, all the weapons are really, really good. I want to get more to the marksman rifles, playing with those as well, seeing exactly how good those are, because I'm trying to really just experience everything and see how great they are, but this is a weapon that if you're looking to get into LMG, especially on ground where you know I'm playing this in 10v10 and I'm still doing work with this if you slap like the 200 round mag on this thing you hop into ground war you post up I mean the fast time to kill the fact that you won't really have to worry about reloading and the fact that the handling it is it is really that bad I mean you can see how I'm, I'm getting my gun up fast it's not bad because I have good attachments on this weapon I'm not sure exactly what I'm using obviously I'm gonna make a full class setup video and full like best LMG videos I got, I got a lot of stuff still to do uh, this update came out I was honestly expecting the update to come out at like 
10 a.m. But I guess this this year they're doing the updates at late night because that was the thing with the patch 1.06, which didn't really have any direct changes. And I, well, it didn't have weapon balance. It did have some some significant stuff, but it didn't have weapon balance, so it wasn't like a mind shocker of an update. But that came out at like 1 a.m. last week or whatever, and then this one dropped at like 12:30 midnight or, or like 1 a.m. something like that. Um, and then of course the maps aren't even out yet. By the time I'm recording this commentary, it's 7 a.m. I've been playing basically all night since the update, and the fact that the maps aren't out yet, which sucks because I wanted to play that 24/7. Looks like I'm gonna have to obviously go to sleep. I've been, I, I mean, I'm on like what four hours of sleep in the last I don't even know how many like a day or two because I've been just working on these videos and this update came out um, but obviously I'm gonna go to sleep I'm gonna wake back up and then probably be able to grind out the 24 7 playlist and hopefully experience these new maps and really I'm excited about this update overall like I said even though a lot of these weapons that are actually in my top five did get nerfs they nerfed pretty much everything that's good in this game uh, the one thing they didn't really hit is the AK-47 which that thing is absolutely amazing and as far as the other things SM SMGs also. SMGs, the MP5 and the MP7, they didn't hit those either. So those are very, very uh, helpful. Even stuff like the Kilo using 5.56 ammo, you know, it does get touched because of this update. But I really do think there's a, a, an amazing amount of weapons. And once again, honorable mention to, uh, I'll say an honorable mention to the other pump shotgun, because I was, I picked that up a couple times and I was going absolutely ham with it. Like, the shotguns, they're just all really good. And an honorable mention to the, uh, what is it going to say, the MP7 as far as the SMGs and as far as the assault rifles, definitely to the Kilo 141. All these weapons are very, very good. I'll probably have to make like maybe, I don't even know, maybe like a top 10 weapon, maybe like a weapon tier list um, because this does, it, the, the meta has been shaken up um, and obviously more and more videos. I'm going to have to keep playing on this update, but this straight up, it made the game a lot better. And even though I think shotguns might still be a problem on that small 24 seven map, I think people might be spamming it. Who knows? Maybe they might even nerf this shotgun again, or maybe even nerf the MP5. Uh, as of right now, these five weapons, if you pick any of these weapons and you play it to the right play style, you're going to succeed in this game and you're going to have a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one. And that's about it. I'm out. Peace.